All right, time for the six at six. Oh. All right. What? We when thought we lost song? the intro. They are trying, they're trying to find the video. You can't Sometimes find we lose it. You can stand in the studio and yeah, sing. Yeah, we could have done it live. We missed an opportunity. Do it live. Brett, hey, good. Do it live. <laughs> what do you do? All right, All right number six. We're looking at thing. failed McDonald's menu items. This is a hula burger. Hmm. A pineapple Ooh. wedged between two pieces of cheese on a toasted bun. Wow. McDonald's founder Ray Kroc came up with the idea as a meat-free sandwich oh, for yeah. Catholics during Lent. There you go. A franchise owner in Cincinnati had his own idea, fish sandwiches, yeah, which yeah. sold more than 300 uh, on his uh, first day without advertisement. That's how the filet of fish was born. Uh, the hula burger, well, according to Smithsonian Magazine, only six uh, were sold. Uh, mm, you, you can't hit them all out of the yeah, park, yeah, you yeah. know? All right, number five, let's just put it out there right now. Crocs are never ever going away so we might as well get used to them they're constantly coming up with snazzy new collabs with there designers and celebs what love that them. Word again? collabs there you go or collabs <laughs> or collabs however you want to pronounce it in the end the og is still the best according to the official website the original croc is still the best seller comes in 30 colors on amazon there's the original yeah, yeah. and the whole shoe weighs just one ounce which is basically nothing. Hmm. They're so flattering. Yeah, gift from the Lord right there. Yeah. Number four, if you're the adventurous type, maybe uh, 2022 is the year to hunt for lost treasure. Like Flor de la Mar, the 400-ton Portuguese vessel was full of treasures, including ornate goblets, dazzling jewels, precious gemstones, and lots of gold. It went down off the coast of Sumatra, Indonesia, in November of 1511, mm. oh. but it's still down there somewhere. Good luck today. It would be worth 2.6 wow. billion wow. dollars. Yeah. It's worth looking. Look yeah, at that. Sure. Looking for that? Too. Uh, number three, a guy in Australia set a new world record for world's loudest burp. All right. <laughs> oh. <laughs> wow. <laughs> He looks like a guy. Kind of <laughs> <laughs> That's uh, never sharp. His belt reached an astounding 112.4 decibels. <laughs> yeah, nice smile, too. He's to got a great off. smile that always. <laughs> Been strong. Wow. You compare that to a chainsaw, which comes in around 120 decibels. Wow. It's loud enough to hurt the ears. <laughs> He is the proud new Guinness World Record holder. Wow. <laughs> well, we can just lift this all day. That yeah. makes me laugh. Keep that on standby. <laughs> we all have a gift. Yeah. So wait a second. Yeah, so I'm kind of Gas coming out of that end is okay. Yeah, right. Larry. We're coming out of the other end is lowbrow. I don't know why that is. Yeah. Well, well I think the fact that we, we only do this like a burp, you, know, you hardly ever see that on the air. Yeah, on this yeah, show, though, the other end, it's like once a yeah. week. Well. The sounds thing pretty, is, we never show a video of the other to me, Paul. <laughs> yeah, it is. It's uh, inconsistent. Well, well we haven't run this into the ground. Right. When we do, then yeah. it may be Let's we'll be congruent, this. though. Yeah. All right, number two. For the next few weeks, we're going to give you some random topics to bring up at holiday dinners for when things get awkward. Oh, great. <laughs> Today it's bagpipes. Yeah. Despite what you think, bagpipes did not originate in Scotland. They're actually Persian. Uh, the first bagpipe was found in the Middle East in the upper Persian Gulf regions just south of Iran. So write wow. that down. That'll be like one of the first ones you're going to huh. want to go to, wow. that awkward Thanks wow. for that, Paul. Part. Yeah. There you are. Number one, let's play the song and get it out of the way. This should be a limit as to the number of song, times we can play this yeah. song per week. Mariah Carey's new holiday special is out now. It includes music, special guests, and the costume. She says production is a big one. In fact, her custom-made Dolce Gabbana gown weighed 60 pounds. Ooh. Or just as Jesus intended. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it took six grown men Weren't to the carry the... Weren't the wise men wearing those when they showed up? You see <laughs> Frankincense burned a 60-pound gown. See, this is the other thing about this song, is Mariah makes it all about her. Hey, yeah. she wrote it, and she's about. cashing the check. 
effects. I'm all about it. Usually these artists record these songs and they don't get a penny. She wrote the thing. And I say, if you can retire on that song, good on well, you. I think she was in pretty good shape before this song. But yeah. yeah. I'm just saying. I hey, think it's No great. one loves a secular Christmas as much as I do, but I'm offended by her sacrilegiousness. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I knew there was some higher principle involved yeah. with your All dislike right, of that just, song. I just like the I just like the song, Larry. There's nothing it's, more to it than that. I'm in my tight outfit and my ninety thousand dollar <laughs> dress yeah. to celebrate the birth of Jesus. That's all right. Everybody can celebrate, Larry. It's catchy. You go on. It's I can do this all King day. Cole, I'll tell you that. That's the six at six. Kaboom. This sucks. <laughs> Let's go look at the four.